Hi, I'm Alisa Arlova, the Deputy News Editor at Kyiv Post. Today's explainer is about cluster munitions and their potential impact as game changers during the summer offensive. Let's explore this in more detail. Please subscribe to the Kyiv Post YouTube channel for more comprehensive information on the war in Ukraine. It took me a while to be convinced to do it. But the main thing is they either have the weapon to stop the Russians now from their, keep them from stopping the Ukrainian offensive through these areas, or uh, they don't, and I think they needed them. At the beginning of July, the United States announced it would provide cluster munitions to Ukraine for the first time, a highly significant and somewhat controversial decision aimed at boosting Kyiv's forces in their summer offensive against invading Russian troops. A cluster projectile is basically a container designed in the shape of a projectile bomb or missile warhead. It is filled with smaller explosive units known as submunitions. These submunitions typically resemble small canisters like soda or beer cans and are tightly packed with explosives. As the cluster projectile approaches its intended target, the container separates within a fraction of a second, dispersing the submunitions in all directions. The warhead of an ATACMS-type missile, for example, can contain around 950 of these submunitions, while a large-caliber artillery shell or an aerial bomb may hold anywhere from 70 to 350 submunitions. Cluster munitions are designed to scatter explosive submunitions over an extended target area before blowing up. When hitting the ground, the submunitions are designed to explode with a combination of blast fragmentation, armor piercing, and incendiary effects over the affected area. The size of the affected area depends on the planned dispersal methods used to scatter the submunition. Not all the bomblets will explode, however, and cluster munitions may have a 1-10% failure rate, possibly leaving targeted areas with the random unexploded bomblets, which may potentially still be be lethal long after the battle, maybe even for decades. An international convention banning cluster munitions went into effect in 2008, and by 2023 a total of 123 nations had promised neither to manufacture nor to maintain stocks of cluster munitions. Russia, Ukraine and the United States and some other nations are not signatories to this convention. Human Rights Watch said that transferring these weapons would inevitably cause a long-term suffering for civilians. Then announcing the decision, the United States National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that Kyiv has provided written assurances that it is going to use this in a very careful way. Ukraine pledged that it would not use the rounds in civilian populated areas and would record there they use them to assist demining efforts after the war. Kyiv has also pledged to refrain from employing these munitions in areas commonly referred to as the canonical territories of Russia. However, no such restrictions have been imposed on the armed forces of Ukraine in Crimea, the occupied territories in the Donbas or the Zaporizhia region, among others. You have to know that Russia used such weapon from the first days, not only full-scale war, from first days of occupation of Crimea in, from 2014 and 15 in all our territories. In Donbass they used it, and now they continue doing it. And that you gave us, this decision will help us to save us. The impact area or footprint of a cluster weapon can be 10-20 times larger than that of a conventional large-caliber artillery projectile. Cluster munitions may also be helpful in clearing mined areas by detonating the mines allowing troops to move forward and traverse the enemy's minefield safely. Consequently, when deployed against concentration of enemy personnel or advancing troops, a single shell has the potential to inflict casualties on a significantly larger scale compared to conventional ammunition. 
Thank you for watching this video explainer. Subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more valuable insights.